gameplay that most likely made you a gamer back in the day. I will be doing some console specific lists soon, but boy oh boy, for this particular list, we will cover the best of all time from any console ever. Strap in and get ready to hit that dislike button and rage as I go through my top 5 platform games of all time. One per franchise. Let's go! Number 5 I giggle with excitement as I say one of my favorite animated shows of all time turned into what became one of my favorite video games of all time. Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers was made in such a way that fit the mold of NES platformers in perfect fashion. Tons and tons and tons of great platforming and wonderful obstacles to overcome. This game has a near perfect soundtrack that I listen to time and time again no matter what the occasion. Hiding in boxes, getting power-ups, meeting old pals, fighting wind tunnels, and defeating Fat Cat in this Capcom classic is everything I hoped it would be, and so much more. I may have mentioned this in the past, but this was one of those NES games that I was just naturally good at. The game is one of the few games on the NES that I can speedrun without sweating in any way, shape, or form, and I love every single second of it. Also, come on, greatest theme music ever. Number 4 In my humble opinion, Mega Man X is the greatest Mega Man game in existence. Surprisingly, Mega Man 11 is climbing up there. I grew up playing the Mega Man games on the NES like many of you. As like many of you, again, Mega Man X just felt like the sauced up sexy version of the previous games. The biggest jump that made me love X more than the previous three games was the bosses. Don't get me wrong, I do like me some Metal Man, Flash Man, and Snake Man, but I really felt some extra life and energy in these bosses here in Mega Man X. Extra animations, extra flair, extra movement, and extra oomph. Mega Man X is THE Mega Man game that made me feel like I was truly conquering all these levels with grace and style. The dash felt better, the charge shots felt more powerful, and the weapon upgrades just felt more invigorating. If you have never played a Mega Man game before, which I highly doubt, and you want to hop on the retro wagon, I think Mega Man X is a great place to start. Truthfully, I might even like Mega Man 1 better than 2, but we don't tell people that on the internet. Hmm, number 3. <sighs> Ever sit back and think about how some video games give you a sense of pure joy? They make you smile? Feel something warm in your heart? The Adventures of Pip did just that for me and I can't speak highly enough about this game. The Adventures of Pip takes you on a journey of a cursed pixel named Pip, who is looking to restore the world that has been turned into mere single pixels. As the game progresses, you go from one single Atari looking pixel to an 8-bit sprite, then to a 16-bit hero. What made this magnificent platformer so memorable to me is the vibe and atmosphere. The game has such a gorgeous flow to it. Everything feels like a true epic quest. Much of the platforming here requires you to switch between all of your generations of graphics to make a single successful platform. The Adventures of Pip holds up to its name as this game, though it may seem like a basic platformer, really feels like a true adventure. I love this game. I have beat this video game six times as of this video being made. Go check it out. Really, really, you really should. Number two. Wow, wow, 
Bow Wow. Talk about a game that I dug way more than I knew I would. Cool dad joke, Riff. Thanks. I got my hands on Shovel Knight right when it came out, and I really had no idea what to expect. But I also had no idea I was about to play one of the greatest games ever to make its way into my gaming hands. It's been said to death, but this was DuckTales with armor, Mega Man with horns, Legacy of the Wizard with better castle vibes. Shovel Knight is a work of brilliance. The retro world and the next gen world all sang the praises of Shovel Knight in unison. Shovel Knight has been so bittersweet because since its release, I have seen so many games attempt to mimic the style of this game while commendable. So many games seem to just fall flat after you played a game such as wonderful as Shovel Knight. I first beat this game on PC, then quickly got it on my Wii U of all places. I love the Wii U. Fight me. And again, beat the game multiple times. I really just want to keep making jokes about digging this game, so I'm going to have to move on now. You know the protocol, let's hear some honorable mentions that almost made their way into this list. Celeste, Shantae, mm, kind of any of them, Donkey Kong Country 2, Shatterhand, Banjo-Kazooie, Earthworm Jim, and Castlevania. Uh, uh, again, really almost any of them. Number one. Was there any doubt at all? I really believe that Super Mario World just had that perfect recipe for a platformer. It's hard to imagine the platforming genre without Super Mario World. I always felt that Super Mario World had platforming on lockdown, and I mean that in terms of actual gameplay. The control you have over Mario is as precise as anything I have ever played. Through my adult life, I have questioned so many platformers that came after Super Mario World that just seemed to be so wonky and I always think to myself, just play Super Mario World for your inspiration in terms of control, come on! There was a period in my life where I hadn't played Super Mario World for like 10 years and I thought to myself, could my nostalgia be greater for this game than it actually is? So I quickly rushed to get my game cartridge back out and play it and holy peaches petunias, it was even better better than I remembered. It was better than my nostalgia was driving me to think about. So good job, Super Mario World. I can't say that about every game I revisit. Super Mario World might be the quintessential Mario game for so many gamers, and I really cannot fault them in any way for feeling this way. This game is perfect platforming at its finest. Do me a favor and go beat this game if you have not. Play it all the way through and enjoy every second. And Please don't hurt Yoshi. He didn't deserve this. Yeah.